Hello everyone and all the IB candidates out there who are taking chemistry subject. Welcome back to my channel, study with me. Today I'm going to go over question number 21 to 40, higher level paper, time zone 2, May 2021. For question number 1 to 20, you can find on my first part of videos and I put the link in the description. If you guys think this video is helping you out to prepare for the exam, also to check whether you understand the content or not don't forget to subscribe comment and share okay so let's start for question number 21 which statements are correct about the action of a catalyst in a chemical reaction the first one it increases the energy of each collisions when the catalyst is at to speed up the reaction it doesn't mean the energy of all particles will also increase it means the energy of each collision also not increases. Some of them will increase, some of them will stay the same. The second one, it alters the mechanisms of the reaction. A catalyst speed up a reaction by reducing the activation energy. Thus, the rate constants is greatly increased. It means altering the mechanisms of reaction. The third one, it remains unchanged at the end of the reaction. The action of catalyst till the end of the reaction remain the same, as the catalyst will be reproduced when the reaction is stopped. It, therefore, the answer is C. Question number 22. What effect does a catalyst have on the positions of equilibrium and the value of equilibrium constant Kc for an isothermic reaction? As you guys know, catalyst is speeding up the reaction. But catalyst does not change the position of equilibrium and also the amount of product of reactants. Therefore, the answer should be C. Question number 23. Sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen to form sulfur trioxide. C and D would work as adjusting the concentrations won't increase the value of Kc as um, if you adjust the constituent of any substance the equilibrium will shift achieving a new equilibrium again so the final set of concentration will reach the same Kc value so concentration does not change Kc value increasing the value of Kc requires a new equilibrium that has more product than reactant this could be only achieved by decreasing the temperature as its forward reaction Therefore, the answer will be B. Number 24, which cannot act as a bronzed lowery base. Bronzed lowery base, it means has the ability to accept protons or H+. To know which one that is able to accept protons or H+, we need to check between A, B, C, D that has lone pair. HPO42- has lone pair, H2O has lone pair, CH4 no lone pair, and NH3 has lone pair. The answer is C. Number 25. Which causes acid depositions? Acid depositions is a broad term that includes any form of precipitations with acidic component. As IO2 is a joint covalent structure, SRO is an ionic compound, CO2, dissolved formic acidic solutions. So SO2, this is the answer. Number 26, which is correct? Electrophiles are bronzed lowery acids. Nucleophiles are bronzed lowery acids. That it's not correct because Electrophiles and nucleophiles are something to do with accepting pair of electrons or donating pair of electrons. So nothing to do with bronzed lowery acid. So A and B are wrong. Okay, Lewis acid accepting pair of electron and base donating pair of electron. Electrophile has no lone pair of electron. Nucleophiles has lone pair of electron. So Lewis acid accepting pair of electron. Therefore, the answer will be C, because nucleophiles has a pair of electrons acting as Lewis base. Number 27. Which compound is acidic in aqueous solutions? To recognize which compound is acidic in aqueous solutions, you need to check 
which compound can be hydrolyzed and generate H plus in the solutions. PBR is strong as strong base and BR is strong acid. So it won't be hydrolyzed. CH3COONA, weak acid, strong base. When Na plus and CH3COO minus dissolve, none of these two produce H plus. NH4 plus, when it dissolve, produce H plus and NH3. So H plus will be acidic in aqueous solutions. Let's check for Na2CO3. Na plus CO3 to minus won't produce H plus. Therefore, the answer will be C. Number 28. What is the oxidation state of oxygen in H2O2? In H2O2, oxygen will be exceptional. H, as you guys know, is plus 1, so it's plus 2. And O2 would be negative 2. Therefore, for only one O, it's negative 1. Number 29. What are the products of the electrolysis of molten potassium chloride KCl? Anode is oxidation, cathode is reduction. Ca it's positive, and this one is negative. So if it's positive, between K and Cl, this is negative charge, positive charge. So negative charge will be right here, and positive charge will be for reduction. L minus and K plus. So this one, it's not, and this one. It's not. L will never be single. It's a diatomic molecule. The answer will be B. Number 30. What would be the electrical potential of the MN2 plus MN half cell if Fe3 plus Fe2 plus is used as the reference standard? The reference standard means how easy it is to reduce. If you compare between these two, MN2 plus and Fa3 plus MN is more reactive compared to Fe. So, so positive should be negative. So negative 0 0.77. That's to calculate the electrical potential. You just need to add this to. It will be negative 1.95 volt. So the answer will be A. All right, number 21. What happens to the mass of each copper electrode when aqueous copper to sulfate solution is electrolyzed? Anode is oxidation and cathode is reduction. So the oxidation here will be Cu as sulfate will never be oxidized. Anode is oxidation and cathode is reduction. If it's reduction, is gaining the electron. So Cu2 plus, plus 2 electron, produce Cu. So copper will get deposit here. And anode, it's Cu, produce Cu2 plus, plus 2 electron as it's oxidation, so it released the electron. So the mass of Cu at anode will decrease, and the mass of Cu at cathode will increase as Cu get deposit here. The answer will be C. Number 32. What is the IOPAC name of the molecule shown? We need to find out the longest change in this structure. It will be this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hexane. Pentano, pentano. So between A and B. Consistence will be this. So we start from the left as it's closer. So 2 and 4. The answer is A. Number 33. Which monomer forms the polymer shown? And this is a polymer. So for monomer, we need to find the simplest structure, which is this one. So 
So CCLHCCH3H, CH2CHCL, and this C, which is here, there is no CL. So it's wrong. There is no CL as well. It's wrong. And CH2CCLCH3 is here is CH2, but only one H, so therefore also wrong. The answer is A. 34. Which is a propagation step in the free radical substitution mechanisms of ethane with chlorine? This is the initiation reaction, and for C, it's termination reactions, as it combines no more free radical. And for D, radical H will never be formed during free radical substitution mechanisms, so the answer will be B. 35 which compound shows chins number 35 which compound shows cheese trans isomerisms for cheese and trans isomerisms you need each carbon C double bond on each or carbon of the ring to be bonded to two different rings for a it's on this side because cheese and trans either here and here or in this side so a is wrong and for B, so is on the side. Because CL, it should be here, CL or H and H here. But B is also incorrect. For C, it's double bonds and rings. So it's very difficult to have isomers for cheese and trans. So the answer also will not be C. So it's D. Number 36, which compound rotates the plane of plane polarized like? It means you need to find which compound between A, B, C, D that is bonded to four different atoms groups. For A, it is bonded to not four different groups. For B, it is bonded to C2H5, H, CH3, and Cl, four different types of groups. So. The answer will be B, but let's check for C and D. For D, it is bonded to two CLs and to two CH3, so not C. And for D, it is bonded to two CH3, so also not D. That's why the answer is B. Number 37, which can be reduced to a secondary alcohol. It means it should be ketone. This COH, carboxylic acid, and this OCH3, be careful, this one is not ketone. CH3, CH2, OCH3. This one is ether, so not B, not A. And C, CH3, C, CH, CHO, CHO is aldehyde, therefore it is D. CH3, C, double bond O, C2, H5. Number 38. Which spectral will show the difference between propan 2 ol and propanol? For mass spectra, it will be different if it has different mass. And the mass of propan 2 ol and propanol are different. So mass is correct. For infrared, the peaks show up distinctively at different locations, of course, because here is OH and this one is C double bond O. Therefore, infrared is also correct. For NMR, it depends on the different H environment. So for propan to all, it will be 6, 1, and 1, H3, 6, and 1, and 1. And for propanol, and for the propanol, it will be three, two, and one. So for NMR, will be also different. Therefore, the answer will be D. Number twenty-nine. How should the difference between twenty plus minus zero point three and nine plus minus zero point two be shown? So the difference will be. 
18, point zero, and for the uncertainties, you need to add them for 0 0.5. So the answer is C. Number 40, what information can be deduced from the splitting pattern of HNMR signal? HNMR signals will be depending on neighboring hydrogens. If it's neighboring hydrogens, it will be adjacent atom. So it's B. All right, guys, so that is the question number 21 to 40. I hope this video will help you guys to prepare for the exam this year and to boost your grade or to check whether you understand the concept or not. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And see ya!